Can I get to know you? Can I get your social? You look good on Roku. I'm trying to know you. I'm trying to down, down. You look good recording, right? Hey, it was good, Clash. We here today. We got the New York Sling topic of the day. You see what we talking about? Me and Mika, the New York Sling experts, we know when to say, what to say, how to say it. You heard? Facts, 100%. Yeah, we the best teachers. Absolutely. It's brick. It's brick. We're going to teach brick. Some of the guys, you know, like, they New York Sling not up to par, so, you know, we have to update them on the Sling. It's mad brick outside. When it's a little chilly outside, it's definitely brick. For me, it's, it's like it's like man, it's like mandatory. Where's my mother? Where's my mother? Where's my mother? That, no, when like, somebody say that, you know they're not playing. Like seriously, no not playing, no games. It's like self-explanatory. Words to my mother, you know, like no, no games. I'm so serious right now. If somebody say a joke that you don't like. It was cold. You ain't nah, like it. Nah, that's shaky. I was shaky. I don't like that one. one. I don't like that joke right there. Nah, that was shaky. Parlay. Parlay. You parlaying, you idling, you wasting time. You wasting too really, much time, you're taking really forever. Moving. You know how moving, how fast you're supposed to be moving. How do you use the word parlay? Somebody taking too long, or like they holding you up, or you parlaying, I ain't gonna lie. And that's class with me, class. Cap, New York slang. Pay attention, make sure you know these words. You got a quiz. Come to New York, you gotta know these. Kind of had a rough few games. Somerville, no chance, right? But beginning of the new year, we're looking to lock in, get both these three teams out. The five and one Cold Arts going up against the two and four at Jelly Fam. First two games, you know, they came on top and got over on us for real, for real. Okay, you want some water? Hey. I'm going Cold Hearts. I'm going to make the safe decision and go Cold Hearts as well. Yo, he's such a bucket. Ian Jackson just walked it all the way to the rim. Money oh, goodness. You fake was wilding out that game. Like, how you was feeling that night? Like, you know, I was just trying to win. The shot was falling, the range, the layup. I was getting to the basket with ease. Oh, what amazing passes, man. My God. We finished them off, and we got it done. Jelly Fam 80, Cole Hart 76. Jelly Fam is climbing the ranking. The Jelly Fam going toe to toe versus the YNG Dreamers. Yeah, it was a must win game. We want to win that game bad. Jelly Fam, are they going to be a problem this year? Ian Jackson, Mitty, money. We got some Eli on Ian Jackson action. <laughs> Good Euro from Ian Jackson. Just another game of me going out there and trying to win. It, we was blowing them out. We, we had a pretty, a pretty good lead. Then they started to come back, you know, make some shots. Here we go, eight seconds on the clock. Ball in. What is he doing? What was that pass? They, they made a silly mistake, threw the ball away at the end, and you know, we ran away with the dub. Just like that, Jelly Fam survived. After a rough start, Jelly Fam has been surging. Jelly Fam and the Diamond Dubs. With a high pick and roll action, deep three. I made shots, we did it. Yeah, we'll have to see Ian Jackson step up. You know, we had to play up and scratch and claw back. Ian Jackson looking for opportunity to get back in here. Euro! Falls up with a slam! And he's waking up. Oh! My! Goodness! The comeback! Showtime, you gotta throw it! Woo! That's now three wins in a row for Jelly Fam. So we did it as a team. Coach P led us and we got it done. Yeah, it was a great set of wins, you know. To start 2024, we restarted enough rolling and we were looking to keep that one shit going. You know, we're on the way back to the city, but before we leave, then we gotta stop by, see by SJ's practice and see what they got going on. Surprise the team, surprise the kids. Cut, cut! 
Have a good time. Thank you for having us, man. Clap it up, fellas. So SJ's Coach Priest's nephew, so that, that's how we kind of got into this tour. But what we want this game to really do is to provide everybody here with discipline, confidence, self-love, self-worth. It, it was big, you know, being able to go out there and show our faces to the younger, the younger guys, the youth, the kids that look up to us, that be at all our games, you know. So it was big. I, I, I'm glad we did that as a team. Even if you do make it, the ball will stop bouncing. So the biggest part for me about basketball is the things that it gives you. The movement that you guys got is so important because you have the children of our future. So we're just grateful and thankful that we could bring bread on this moment and then also celebrate this young man who's my family. And now we're gonna celebrate him and say happy birthday. Bro. One, two, three. Happy birthday to Happy birthday. Glad we got a chance to go watch them fall out. Back when I was young, and I was and I was just starting up playing ball, and I and I seen that seen that crowd. I went to show all the moves I had playing ball, you know, in front of the people I used to look up to when I was younger. So it definitely like brought back a couple memories. All right, so we gonna put our hands in there, move those fingers, right? And on three, right, we gonna all go up, and you gotta do it with some funk, sway, some flavor, some energy. So we gonna say jelly. Everybody got me. Ready? Move the fingers! Go! One, two, three, jelly! What's good, everybody? Welcome to Jelly Fan Club, man. Tonight is a perfect night of fight. Here I come. We're here with J.O. Me. Okay, yeah. He digs. Good. So we're going to be touring y'all today. This is a death. This the right here, this the little chilling area where we watch movies. Some of these condiments don't go in the refrigerator, so I don't know why some of these is in here. Ooh, which one of those you don't put in the refrigerator? So Lisa stayed inside. Uh jelly. You put jelly in the refrigerator? See, before I open it, it's not in the fridge. When I open it, it goes oh, the I'm just saying. It ain't open, it ain't in the fridge. Right. This is me in attic room. No, this the vibe right here. This the vibe like room. Chilling in here. I really use the um box, but you feel me? He tries, so we, I gotta take it easy on the type shit. Right. I'm trying, I always be here. I'm using the Lakers. For what you see. Right after practice, just come up here and play 2K. It get uh, crazy, man. It get crazy. Yeah, so this is me right here. Some calm, some calm. Queen just kind of fog for me to get here every morning for practice because we practice every day. So moving in here just made it easier to get to practice every day. I mean, it's cool just bonding with our teammates, just getting a good laugh. I stay here because I, um, I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. There's like 15 people that stay here. My name is Bernard Kuma, and uh, I'm from Chad, Central Africa. Came to America in 2016, and at that time, Coach P was my AU coach. I graduated college this past spring, and now I'm here <coughs> trying to help the kid at the house, trying to just be there for them, trying to make sure they clean up for themselves because in college, they got to live by themselves and they got to take care of themselves. Uh, Sometimes I do the book for the team. The big man, Iomi, asked me to get in the gym with him to work, you know. So I just trying to be available and uh, help around. So like, it's family, basically. It's, we are close to each other, like, you know, I love them. I will do anything, like, to protect them. Stay disciplined, y'all. Stay disciplined. We was, this year, we played them the first game of the season, you know, when everything was brand new to us. Uh, and we, we kind of, they beat us, they got over on us. But we played them again at LIU. We can't make it easy for nobody else. Gritty and tough. Everybody got me? Yes, so, we do that, you know what it is. We knock off the number one team, 
and they gotta talk to us nice. We come after the next one. Everybody got me? Yes, sir. I definitely like playing home, you know, being able to be in front of my home, my home crowd, my family, my friends, everybody that's out there getting to watch the game. Why do you think the Reapers, like, came out so, like, intense? So they had a little chip on each other. I think they was coming up for a game where they lost. So they want to come out and kind of get back on the, in the win column. We went to halftime and it was up. We talked to Coach Pete. Coach Pete kind of gave us the gave us the keys and told us what to do. We focus on the details. Make them shift and play. They only scoring because of our miscues. They're not beating us. They're not doing anything sexy. We're in a good space, y'all. We just now got to ramp it up. Second half, I feel like we played a good game. Fourth quarter, the last five minutes, I kind of think, think we took a different step in like our effort, and you know, just just making making good plays. Stay locked in, all right, man to man. Let's go, y'all. Y'all just got to take deep breaths. Got to thug this one out. Everybody got me. We had a good game, we knew the game plan, we knew what they wanted to do, we understood the assignment, and we got it done. Big dog. Ooh, we don't stop here, keep going. Feel good, feel good. Uh, we should be still undefeated this year, in the new year, so a win against them is, is a, I mean, a good win. Four in a row. One, two, three. Daddy! I appreciate you watching that video, but before you dip, do me a little favor. Go hit the OT shop and check out some of the new drops. They're all bangers. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite, but I promise it'll be worth it when you do.